Are you curious on how the presidential election is going to affect the housing market? Well, stay tuned because that's what we're talking about today. So how does the presidential election affect the housing market? Well, we're going to be talking about how it affects it nationally and also how it affects here you for you locally. So let's look at some historical data on how the elections have uh, you know, affected the real estate market. Now, as far as the presidential election years, uh, they look at the number of transactions, the number of homes I've sold, and it decreases by 15%. Now, this is only from the month of October to the month of November. Now, the non-election years, the housing market drops about 9.8% in closed sales, and that's just the normal ebb and flow of the real estate market in seasonality. So, the, the thing of this is, is that in presidential election years, even though we see that 15% drop, then it sets it up to be one of the most robust uh, housing markets in the first year of the presidency, regardless of whoever is elected, because it all it's doing is pushing the buyers that normally buy in the time period of the election year to non-election years. So that's why that first year is so strong and robust. So now putting it fast forward to this year, since there's just so many different changes that are going on, not only here locally, but also nationally, depending on you know, what area that you live in, you know, across the country, some areas have been hit a lot harder and some have not. So this is what the experts are saying. It all depends upon the consumer or the buyer's confidence in the economy and things like that, for whether or not they're going to move forward to make that choice of to buy or sell in the real estate market. So being a part of the bottom line, as far as driving that consumer confidence, it boils down to the low interest rates, the economy that's uh, recovering and also decreasing the unemployment rate. So you're probably thinking, okay, how does this affect me here in the Flower Mound area? Well, the thing of it is, is that the housing market is still very, very strong. It's one of the strongest we've seen in a long time. So even though we are in a presidential election year, we're really not seeing that much of a difference in our real estate market at all. And we do continue to, or we do believe it will continue to be strong because of the fact we see 360 people a day moving into the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area and calling it home. So the demand is very strong with the people coming in, making a very strong buyer demanding market. So if you're looking at selling, now is a good time to be able to get top dollar for your house. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than glad to visit with you. I hope you found this information helpful and we'll see you next week.